Donations dropped when the COVID-19 pandemic ballooned back in the spring. Now they're hoping you can roll up your sleeve to help save some lives. Let's go to 12 News reporter Kate Walsh in Providence. The last time PPAC held a blood drive was during a production of Dracula many years ago. It's in much different circumstances now as the theater isn't even able to have productions during COVID. But they said the need for blood is so great they wanted to host a blood drive here so the community can help those in need. When they put out the call weeks ago, the slots filled up fast. The Rhode Island Blood Center had to add 30 additional slots, actually. So they expect a total of 70 donations of vital blood from today's event alone. Hospitals are back doing all sorts of surgeries again, so they need the supply of blood. And they're also up against any emergency they would face in non-COVID times. Staff here are practicing all social distancing guidelines and assure everyone it's safe to give blood. They're practicing um, COVID, you know, all pandemic safety measures. Um, so the staff has been great about this. They know what they're doing and everything will be very methodical and safely managed. Now this is by appointment only, but you can still check to see if there are any slots that have opened up for this afternoon by going to the Rhode Island Blood Center's website. Also there, you can find other ways to donate blood at one of the centers in the state on another day. This blood drive runs through 3 o'clock this afternoon here at PPAC, and as a thank you for giving blood, you'll get a gift card from Boscov's as well as some snacks. In Providence, I'm Kate Walsh, 12 News. And the blood drive continues until 3 o'clock at PPAC. If you are interested, we'll link you at WPRI.com or you can go to ribc.org backslash arts.